All right, we are back for episode five, and this one is, it's the fishnest out of all of them. It's a, it is going to be three full days of fishing. And I think this is probably the last, like, major stretch. I think there's another one with maybe two days of fishing in the future, but this is a big one. Um, and today is raining, so that means uh, we know we'll be doing some river fishing. Just for catfish, it's the best stuff, so that's what we're going to do. Um, that's really our main goal, obviously. Oh, we got to chop some wood, though, because we need to make a scarecrow and kind of start clearing some of our farm a little more. And then we also want to just smelt our iron as we go and our gold, too, when we run out. We can't get the uh, community center cutscene today because it's raining. So that goal is kind of dead, but that's not a big deal. And then we have to smelt enough. Um, or not smelt enough, sorry. We have to sell enough so that we can buy the rest of our gold and upgrade our pickaxe once again. Um, most of the time we chop down pretty much any tree and then leave the stumps. But we'll probably start chopping down only maple and pine tree. Oh my goodness. Um, maple and pine trees going forward and then leaving the stumps of the oak trees. And that's because we need the, uh, the acorns to grow more oak trees and the stumps will continue to produce them if they're there. So, And that'll be for when we want to make a bunch of kegs later on. But for now, we're just chopping trees, I guess. And then loading everything up and getting ready to, to head down there. And I always place my scarecrow over there because I always forget about the rice and they get eaten by crows. So this should cover both my crops and my crows. I probably should have brought... Oh, I don't have my pickaxe. So never mind. No, I did fine. <laughs> I tried to record this like two times today. But for some reason, somebody's been just like screaming outside for like an hour. And anytime anybody's like tried to ask them if they need help, they just, I don't know, it's some kind of landlord tenant disagreement next door. And it's kind of wild, but I don't know, whatever. Um, nobody seems to be in like trouble, I guess. So. I don't know, we have kind of thin, uh, thin windows or like bad windows so you can kind of hear everything outside so that's kind of been interrupting it but I don't know things are quieter now so we're back to back to trying again I uh I decided to kind of skip almost the entire day of fishing and uh I don't know, I'm curious to know what you think about that. I just sort of phased in from day to night and skipped all the chests and everything like that for the next three days. It doesn't... I don't know, I'll try a couple different things. I think I'm also going to try like just doing the chests and then just... or like just showing catching treasure chests, you know? But I don't know, I'll do a bunch of different stuff and then going forward I maybe will change things. Um, so anyway, we fished until midnight and then headed back up to our farm because we need to sell the stuff um, and then we also need to just clean up stuff a little bit so our path doesn't get blocked but in order to upgrade the pickaxe tomorrow we need 5,000 gold for the steel upgrade and then we also need to buy only 4 gold ore which is crazy because usually it's closer to like 20 or something but we've had really good chest luck so we just have to get four so that's another 1600 gold so i think we're we're looking at 6600 and you'll see me do some math here or i guess you won't see me do it but in this part right here i'll do all my math and figure out what i need to sell and i'll just cut to what i actually sell because it's just a blank inventory screen while i tab over 
um, and look at the wiki in a calculator again. So that's what I'm selling. Um, I hopefully I did my math right. I always stress out about that, and I always manage to mess it up in a tiny bit. Uh, but hopefully today is not the case. And then I have a little bit of time, so if you got a little bit of time, just scythe some weeds. It's always the go-to. And then I guess if you have energy, cut some stuff, but this section needs to be cleared out pretty soon. That's where most of my oak trees will be. But for now, I don't really have time. It's almost 1.30, so. I wanna get that started probably next week. I really start growing all the trees before I put tappers on them. It's not a huge rush because I won't even really need them until like midsummer for the kegs, but it's good to have a bunch of, uh... oh man, what is it called? <laughs> oak resin? No, nope, it's pine resin. No, nope, it's pine tar. Maybe it is oak resin. Doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. I uh, hit nine, level 9 fishing on day 6, which is cool. It's a pretty high for me, even. Uh, Alright, and I made enough money, so good news. And then, yeah, so I don't know. I don't check the luck a ton, because it doesn't usually matter um, when it comes to fishing days. It's either good or it's not. And I'm still going to go fishing, so kind of who cares, right? But I don't know. I have good luck, so I guess I'll get some more chests um, while I'm fishing. <laughs> uh, today, I think I'll actually get the community center cutscene. So I'll wait until 8 a.m. to enter the town. But then I'll be smelting gold all day. I'll drop a few things off at the museum. And then I'll fish and fish some more, like I said. Uh, I got a couple crops ready. I got potatoes and rice, but nothing major. Um, right now is not really for money or anything anyway, it's just because I need the farming level. And rice kind of helps out with that. And maybe it's not quite done. I think it's done. And I try to remember to do this every day, but I try to pet my cat every day and try to give him water. It just slips my mind sometimes. Usually I'm really good about it, but I don't know, I feel bad for the virtual cat. And this tree, this tree always drives me crazy. It's one of the few ones that I chopped down all the way really early because it blocks like the little portal area. And also I really like the little like mouse statue thing above the warp. So I like to see it. And then yeah, you'll see, I'll slowly work my way um, west on my farm, but you know, it's a slow process. I'm mostly just burning time So it I think I talked about this before but the community day cutscene is only available After the fifth and if it's not raining, so that's why I didn't get it yesterday and um, You also Can only get it if you enter the farm or sorry if you enter the town from the bus stop and after 8 a.m. So, I mean, theoretically, you could never get it if you just never went to town like that. So um, there's probably like a whole set of people playing, uh, oh, sirens. Well, <laughs> there's probably like a whole set of people playing that potentially never even know the community center can be restored. It's probably uncommon, but there's some people out there, I think. I hope the sirens didn't get picked up too much. It's kind of jarring. And then it's your best bet is to watch that whole cutscene because if you watch it all the way through without skipping it like teleports you to the front door of the, of the uh, community center so you can walk right in and activate the little Junomo tile thing. Um, so in this case I skipped that and just went to go do my other stuff instead. Yeah, and then the museum stuff, it's not really necessary to ever do anything with the museum, but I kind of like to just keep my chests empty and get rid of, you know, some of my extra 
junk. And then you get some seeds out of it too, which I usually sell to Pierre. And then I always, I always do my museum in uh, like a nice little rainbow arrangement, just because I feel like that's the only way to do it. Um, it just looks the best. So yeah, I got those seeds and I'm gonna sell all those to Pierre, even though I don't need the money. And I'll just buy um, like kale seeds or something that I know I'll need in the future. And then again, if you need to buy from Clint, you gotta make sure you do it before you upgrade your stuff. Otherwise you screw yourself over, so just keep that in mind. And um, I actually make a really weird mistake today, kind of a big mistake, which I think actually costs me kind of a lot of money. Um, and I don't know if you've already noticed or will notice what my mistake is, but I guess we'll find out here shortly. <laughs> so yeah, I just bought um, kale seeds. I'll need like 180 kale seeds. So there's no harm in having an extra 14 right now. And that way I have no gold so I can pass out. And then yeah, a little bit extra forage. Forage level will become kind of important pretty fast, but we'll end up making up for that by um, planting a lot of summer seeds and harvesting all the forage that grows from those and then chopping like hardwood and stuff. Um, so there's the mistake I just made. I forgot to go into the community center and I didn't activate the tile. So now I'm going to have to go back and activate it, which isn't going to cost me a ton of time or a ton of fish even. But I think, uh, I think I didn't get level 10 fishing as early as I needed to because of it. Uh, which ultimately cost me a lot of money because I had to sell a lot of fish before having the additional 25% value. Um, so I'm about to leave in a second to go activate it. I waited until nighttime because there's no largemouth bass anymore after seven. And um, those are like the most valuable fish from here. So I might as well get my most value out of being at the lake um, before headed back. And I'm glad I realized I'm, I forgot this because otherwise that would have kind of, I don't know, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. It's just an extra trip later on. So what felt like a big mistake at the time really wasn't which I feel like is literally every mistake ever in the world like that I make. <laughs> I always think it's a huge deal, but in the moment, you know, and then in retrospect, it's, it's nothing. So yeah, uh, back to fishing. I personally think this is the, my favorite way to edit this stuff out because I don't know, I think even when I'm watching fishing, it's kind of hard to talk about it for 20 minutes per day. And unless I just, you know, talk about random stuff, which I'm also fine with, but I don't know. Plus I think it looks cool when it transitions from light to dark when you're fishing. <laughs> so I had some okay chests, um, like those four magma geodes. I think that's, like 600 gold right there, which is cool. Oh, more noise. Hopefully that doesn't get picked up, but <laughs> it might. I guess everybody's hustling and bustling on a Saturday morning. And I used a little different music this time around. I just did some stuff I made in like GarageBand, mixed with, uh, or mixed with Stardew stuff, just to kind of break it up a little. And yeah, and then I passed out. Sometimes you pass out, like right as you're reeling the fish in, or like right before you're opening a chest, because time still moves. And that's a pretty bad time, but it doesn't happen to me, luckily.
And I didn't need to sell anything or even skill up. I didn't think I would skill up, but I got level two foraging, which is convenient because now my energy will be restored. Um, but yeah, so I'm checking my luck again. Again, I don't need to. I don't know what's going on, but I keep getting like pyramid luck days. Like they're not the best luck, but pretty good. It's weird. Anyway, um, I'm going to fish again, as you know. And I'm going to keep smelting gold. And then I also have to visit the wizard real quick because that's the last thing you have to do before you can open the community center. And on that note, keep in mind you have to check the mail in order to go to the wizards. I don't know how many times I've had to run back because of that. And then, yeah, just fishing more. And then I have to sell enough to buy the gold pick upgrade, which is 10 grand. And I just have to not forget to sell it, which I do sometimes. Um, and that is, again, one of those things that feels like a big deal, but doesn't matter because I can just wait a little extra and sell, um, just sell stuff at the shops. I already have to wait until 9 a.m. for Clint anyway. It's just not the most efficient thing. But, all right. So, and also, I guess on that note, we, we finished our first week. And this is the first day of our new week. So I guess we might as well take the time to look at like what our goals were last week and like what we achieved, what we didn't. And I guess whether or not that even really matters. I think for the most part, we did pretty well. I, I, sorry, I use we and me interchangeably and I don't know why, but sorry. <laughs> um, I think we hit most of our goals. The only thing we didn't do was open the community center and get the fruit bat cave, which is actually fine because community center one isn't really our fault because the weather was bad or bad for that. So it just couldn't happen. So we'll get that done today and check it off easily. And then the fruit bat cave we didn't get because like we had really good luck with chess. So we didn't have to sell a lot. And so we didn't get it because we had a pretty fruitful uh, week, so it's a pretty good thing to, to miss when it comes to our goals. Um, this week's goals are quite a bit different. Aside from, I guess, carrying over those first two, we have to get our gold pickaxe. Uh, we got to reach fishing level 10, which should happen today or tomorrow. Uh, farming level 2, which will be super easy because that's what the uh, 20 potatoes were for. And then we'll want to get all of our kale for level 6 farming this week. Which actually is not true. We only want to get half of that. Because we'll plant it. We'll, um, we'll plant it in two different batches. Of about 80 to 90 bat or 80 to 90 kale each. We also want to hit uh, level 120 in the mines. And the big one is earning 42,500 gold for the vault. And that is a ton of money which I know, but as long as we get hopefully one more rain day or maybe two, I think we'll be able to get it. And then if we have good luck in the mines and some gems, we might be able to get it. So those are, those are the general goals we want. I'm hoping we can get them, but if not, it'll just push us back a couple days. Um, you can afford that in this run to be pushed back two or three days easily it just kind of slows down your first or not slows down but diminishes your first star fruit crop which isn't even the biggest deal because you can just make the second round of star fruit bigger so we'll see um this week will be pretty relaxed even though the mines sound kind of hard to get to level 120 this early and the money is kind of hard it's all largely out of our hands, so as far as like luck and weather goes. And I know, I mean, for me personally, if things are kind of out of my control, I don't have to stress about them because I know that there's nothing I can do. And all I can do is everything in my power to, you know, do the best I can, right? Like, you're not responsible for the cards you're dealt in a game of poker, but you are responsible for how you play them, right? So... 
I kind of use that philosophy for this as well as like everything else. So, um, anyway, that's kind of beside the point. We're going to fish and I'm going to chase bubbles this time for the first time, which I don't usually do because of the fact that bubbles are really iffy on whether or not they're going to stick around. Like in this case, I think these ones disappear pretty fast, but I don't know, I got a chest out of it, so I'll take it, I guess. But I don't know, generally, like, I think somebody mentioned in one of my videos, like, hey, you missed the bubbles. I'll almost always miss the bubbles at the lake, unless they're really close by, because I don't want to run over to them and have them disappear two seconds later. But anyway, um, this spot, like, this spot used to be like the main jam for fishing. Everybody used to always fish here as far as I've seen. And as long as you fish like towards the log, you'll always get the iridium quality. And that's true, but it's also true of the spot I always fish in, which is like not on these little tiny islands that take forever to walk to. Um, so fish where you want, but fishing here is, is one of the better spots. I guess these bubbles lasted a while, um, but I'm also getting lower quality fish. So, oh, and they're gone, <laughs> right as I said that. Um, if the bubbles are really close to the shore, you'll get low quality fish, which can take up your inventory space and they're also not worth a lot. So it's kind of a trade off, but I was really trying to get that level 10 fishing today. So that's why I chased the bubbles. And there's more over there um, to the left of the bigger island. But it's just one of those things like, is it worth running all the way over there for what may be only 10 in game minutes of bubbles? And the answer is probably no, but sometimes you gotta go for it. In this case, I don't know, I was getting a little more like desperate to get level 10 because I really wanted the extra money, so. That's why I went for it, but I don't know. I didn't get it. And look at that. Oh God, it's the worst, man. Like when you get there, I missed the cast and then the bubbles went away. So, <laughs> you know, I'll probably just edit out the rest of the fishing because it's just this, that kind of killed the bubble dream for me. And, uh, yeah, I just fished the rest of the day. Um, it's another one of those days, right, where you don't want to pass out because I want to ship out enough for uh, for the gold. I need 9,300 gold around there. And I didn't hit level 10, so a little bit of a bummer. But it, I think, I don't know, it could have been a while before I hit it. Like It might have been impossible to hit it today. So it's not really worth getting too mad about. I'm still gonna have the money I need today. And I'm not gonna like restart the whole run over uh, over fishing. Fishing's already kinda <laughs> been a thorn in my side, so we'll just let it go. And then that's it, yeah, we'll just sell stuff. Um, like I said, 9,300. Because I didn't hit level 10 fishing, I'm gonna try to sell mostly non-fish stuff but I don't have a ton of that and I want to save my diamonds emeralds and rubies so I can't sell any of those and I don't want to sell quartz or fire quartz so I literally could only sell magma geodes <laughs> and the rest had to be fish so again not a big deal I think that's it um, I was going to try to make some spring seeds, but I realized I'm missing my dandelions, so I couldn't. So yeah, I just pet the cat. Um, I remembered that I forgot to give him water. So I went and did that real quick and then hit the sack. So yeah, I don't know why I did all that, but I like the cat, so whatever. And I got, yeah, so I'm perfect on money. So I have enough to do my next day so I can fish more <laughs> and have my pickaxe upgrading. So that'll be tomorrow. Um, 
Yeah. Stay tuned. It'll come out, or next episode will come out in like two days. So see you later.